Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Robin. Today I will be making braised beef noodle soup. I will also show you how to make hand pulled noodles. It's actually very easy. I will first demonstrate how to make the beef soup and then present my noodle recipe. First, wash and clean two pounds of beef shank. The beef brisket is also good. Then put the beef in cold water and turn on the heat to high. Add some ginger slices and one ounce Chinese cooking wine. During this boiling process, you will see the beef scum come out gradually. It will flow to the surface. Make sure to remove it. After the water starts boiling, turn down the heat to medium and cook it for 15 minutes. Take out the beef and dump the water. Leave it to cool down until you are comfortable to cut it. I like to do some variations, so I cut the beef into three shapes. Small cubes, big chunks, and thick slices. Then prepare different spices. Chop a half onion. Onions can add a special sweetness into the soup. The exact measurements of dry spices are listed in the description box. Now let's move to the stir frying part. Use a big pot. Turn on the heat to medium. Wait for the pot to become hot. Add three tablespoons oil, ginger slices, and dry spices. Stir frying spices can release and amplify their aroma but make sure to stop before they turn black, otherwise it becomes bitter. Then stir fry chopped onions for two minutes. Add beef and stir fry for two minutes to keep its shape and absorb fragrances from the spices. Then add one tablespoon chili bean paste and stir fry everything for two minutes. This is the chili bean paste. I apologize for losing some footage here, but after this, I added 1.2 liter boiling water, two tablespoons soy sauce, one tablespoon dark soy sauce, and three grams salt, and turn down the heat to low after boiling. Simmer for two hours. That is how to make the beef soup. It's not complicated, just make sure to have a list of spices in hand so you don't forget anything. Making hand put noodles only requires three ingredients, flour, salt, and water. The key is to let the dough rest for a long time. Resting the dough can form gluten, which will make the dough very elastic. First, mix flour, salt, and water together. The exact measurements are listed in the description box. The ratio of water to flour is about 0.6 to 1. The dough is kind of soft and moist, but it's not wet. Salt can not only provide flavor, but also strengthen gluten bonding. At this time, the dough is not elastic enough to knead. It needs some time to rest. Cover it and rest for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, the dough becomes more elastic. Knead the dough for two minutes and rest for another 30 minutes to develop more gluten. After another 30 minutes, it's easy to roll out the dough now. Brush some oil on the work surface so the dough won't stick. Roll out the dough to half an inch thick. And brush more oil on both sides to keep its moisture. Here I used one tablespoon oil. 
then cover it with a plastic wrapper. Make sure to seal it so it won't dry out. Rest for two to three hours. After two hours, the dough had a really good rest and is ready to be hand pulled. You will see the magic scene. Cut the dough into strips. Stretch it and it will become as long as you want. It's super easy and fun. And I just love the slapping sound. Slapping the noodle on the work surface will help it stretch evenly. And there you have it! The hand put noodles are done! Boil the fresh noodles for 1.5 minutes and boil the baby bok choy for 30 seconds. Now let's check out the beef soup. It's hot and super fragrant. Add the meat and soup in the bowl. Add chopped garlic and green onions to finish off your perfect bowl of braised beef noodle soup. This dish is delicious and very well seasoned. The noodle is chewy, beef is soft and savory, the broth is steaming hot and packed with flavors. Honestly, this dish looks time consuming, but mostly you just need to wait for the soup to develop flavors and for the dough to form gluten. It's not hard work, and the payoff is absolutely worth it. I hope you enjoyed my video, and I hope you will make this dish sometime. Please leave a comment if you have any questions, and subscribe if you like my channel. Thanks for watching! Bye!